Just because they're animated doesn't mean they don't tug at our heartstrings. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cute animated couples in movies. And here they are! Bachelorette number one is a mentally abused shut-in from a kingdom far, far away. For this list, we've included couples that range from Disney to Pixar to everything in between. Prepare yourselves for warmth and fuzzies. Sally, I can't believe I never realized that you... Jack! Number 10. Roger and Jessica Rabbit, who framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, love cap. Oh, Roger, you were a pillar of strength. Talk about an odd couple. You have an anthropomorphic cartoon bunny married to, well, this. Yes, it's me, my dearest. I'd love to embrace you, but first, I have to satisfy my sense of moral outrage. Gun down, you butt toothed fool. Probably the greatest example of opposites attracting. These two love each other despite their different animations. Roger, darling, I want you to know I love you. I've loved you more than any woman's ever loved a rabbit. It's not hard to see why for Roger, but Jessica's reasoning? Gentlemen, best get your funny on if you want to lend a lady like this. Come on, Roger, let's go home. I'll bake you a carrot cake. <laughs> Number 9. Carl and Ellie Fredrickson, up. You and me, we're in a club now. Pixar really outdid itself with this one as they showed us a believable romance that spanned the course of a lifetime with practically no dialogue and in less than 10 minutes. You know, you don't talk very much. I like you! Starting off as nothing more than two kids with a dream, we see Carl and Ellie through their marriage and their careers, all the way to old age. Don't you worry, Ellie. We'll get our house over there. What's especially heartbreaking is that they endure some of the worst tragedies a couple can face. Yet they still overcome it together to live a full life. And we couldn't be happier for them. Number 8. Robin Hood and Maid Marian, Robin Hood. Marian, my darling, I love you more than life itself. Uh. <laughs> Young love. Nothing quite like the classics. Robin Hood and his band of merry men, slightly furrier in this rendition, take on the evil Prince John in a bid to rescue the kingdom and the fair maid Marian. Marian, my love, will you marry me? Oh, darling, I thought you'd never ask me. <laughs> oh, but you could have chosen a more romantic setting. As you can expect, she's more into the suave archer than the dastardly monarch. Someday soon, your uncle King Richard will have an outlaw for an in-law. <laughs> oh, lucky! Oh, and who can blame her? Everyone loves it when the good guy gets the girl, especially one as foxy as Robin Hood. Oh, he's so handsome, just like his reward posters. Number 7. Peter Pan and Wendy Darling Peter Pan. My name is Wendy. Uh, Wendy Mora Angela Dog. Wendy's enough. Oh. Everyone needs a little rebellion in their life, just as much as they need some maturity. Oh, sure. It's, it's just that I never thought about it before. And that's why Wendy and the boy who'll never grow up complete each other. He shows her the adventure of a lifetime, and she teaches him that even lost boys need to grow up sometime. Oh, Mother, we're back! Back. All except the lost boys. They weren't quite ready. Lost but Ready? To grow up. That's why they went back to Neverland. It may be just a childish fantasy, but sometimes that kind of love can be the most potent. Oh, Mother, he really is wonderful, isn't he? See how well he sails the ship. Number six, Shrek and Princess Fiona, the Shrek franchise. Oh, Wake up. What? Are you Princess Fiona? I am. It's the anti fairy tale with the monster and the princess finding their happily ever after. I. I love you. Really? Really, really. Starting off as nothing more than characters that accepted their assigned stereotypes, Shrek and Fiona soon found themselves falling for their polar opposites after they discovered they had a little more in common than they thought. 
But I have to be rescued by my true love. Not by some ogre and, 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 his, and his pet. Well, so much for noble Steve. Not everyone gets a happy ending, but we're sure glad these two do. Bring it home, donkey. I'm in love. Number five, Wally and Eve, Wally. Name? Wally. Wally. They barely say five words to each other, yet these two have one of the most beautiful connections on our list. When this waste allocation load lifter falls for the sleek and sharp Eve, his love leads him across the galaxy. <laughs> Determined and selfless, his charm starts to become infectious, even though the extraterrestrial vegetation evaluator seems quite cold at first. Sure, Wally proves his heroic qualities, but most importantly, he also gets the girl. Cue the romantic dance sequence. And that is all that love's about. Wow. Number four, Aladdin and Jasmine, Aladdin. Two strangers worlds apart and trapped by their social classes find each other and discover a whole new world to share. Almost there. <laughs> While trying to escape their surroundings, the poor street urchin and the rebellious princess have a chance encounter. Sing. No, no, please! Oh, thank you, kind sir. I'm so glad you found me. And that's when true love strikes. I choose you, Aladdin. <laughs> Call me Al. Aladdin even goes so far as to change himself to try and impress Jasmine. Why, I, I even have servants who go to the marketplace for my servants, so it, it couldn't have been me you met. <laughs> no, I guess not. But as our young couple soon finds out, it's not what's on the outside that really counts. A whole new Number three, Lady and Tramp, Lady and the Tramp. Uh, she's pretty sweet, the kiddo, Butch. You take a Tony's advice and settle down with this one, eh? <laughs> Speaking of different social backgrounds, these canines are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. What are you doing on this side of the tracks? I thought you... What? Oh, you poor kid. One is the well-mannered and ever-so-posh Lady. The other is Tramp. Footloose, carefree, and Mr. Suave when it comes to women. Haven't you a family? One for every day of the week. The point is, none of them have me. Doesn't sound like they'd be a perfect pair, but it turns out they bring out the best in each other, find forgiveness, and even start a family together. Steady now. No matter how much of a smooth talker he is, just make sure you keep that scoundrel in line, lady. Number two, Simba and Nala, the Lion King. Hey, what's going on here? Timon, this is Nala. She's my best friend. Friend? Sometimes the one that starts off as your best friend goes on to be the one you fall in love with. I've really missed you. I've missed you too. As cubs, Simba and Nala thought of each other as nothing more than playmates who would have all the fun in the world when he became king. Mom, can I go with Simba? Hmm, what do you think, Sarabi? Well... Please! It's all right with me. Yeah. Well, turns out kingship changes priorities. As Simba learns to embrace who he is, the young lion finds himself drawn to Nala as part of the circle of life. Matata indeed. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? 
It will be. And what if it is? There is one way to ask her. It don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. I bring you a Christmas present. I got to see you one last time. If you don't mind, I'd like to join you by your side. Number one. Mickey and Minnie Mouse, an iconic cartoon couple if ever there was one. <laughs> Whether it's in black and white shorts, classic Christmas specials, ye old France, or Kingdom Hearts, Mickey and Minnie have always been there for each other through all the hardships Disney threw their way. He loves me a lot. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me even more. <laughs> Plus, they have what's probably one of the longest running relationships in cartoon history. So we can't fault them there. And he'll sweep me off my feet. And I'll know he's the one when he makes me laugh. We wish you all the best, you lovable mice. Oh, say la more. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Which animated couple gave you the most feels? Dear Jessica, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. For more cuddly countdowns published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, folks, that's the way it really happened. Long goes on.